Hello everyone, my name is Spooky Shimmer, and welcome to Blanket Cat. Now I'm just going to go ahead and let you know that I will put the link to the game in the description down below. Go check out the game, go support the creator. I just want to emphasize this, I whether or not my opinion it is, doesn't matter. Go check them out, go support creators, it's the, it's one of the great things that you can do in the gaming community is go support indie creators. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, come in, come in. There's no need to begin with regrets and frets. Let's skip straight to well met. So, set your troubles at the door. Throw your fears to the floor. No matter the dispute, the quandary, the doubt, I promise we'll sort it all out. Now come in, come in, and let us begin. There's no need to delay. How are you feeling today? Noise. The morning sun is bright and cheery as you open your eyes. You return the world's greeting with a bleary-eyed, wide-mouthed, tail-curling yawn. From your perch on the kitchen window sill, you can see far into the valley below. Draped in pillowy mounds of freshly fallen snow, it glistens like a field of sparkling diamonds. Hmm, first snow of the season already? With a stretch, you wiggle free from your tangle of blankets. You peer through the window, tail flicking softly as you watch the valley's swooping birds. Only a few flit to and fro this morning. Family of red and cream, speckled, gross beaks, feathers, vibrant against the snow. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm pretty silly. I don't really know um, much about birds. <laughs> they dip through the field in low arcs, wingtips brushing the ground one after the other before flying high, high, high into the air, cresting against the blue sky. <laughs> what a boring show today. Perhaps when you return to the window later, another bird family will have arrived. Then they will have no choice but to wage a territorial war against one another, vying for what little seeds remain accessible through the snow. Well, a cat can dream, right? <laughs> you turn away from the window and drop to the counter below with a hearty thump. Your ears flick with annoyance, but as Baba enters the kitchen, your grumpy exterior sheds like loose fur. Warm wool swaddles her from head to toe like every morning she wears a welcoming smile. A self pain prods your heart once you notice the worn wicker basket draped over her arm. A clear sign she intends on going shopping today, and you don't get to accompany her. Even though it's embarrassing and far beneath you, you let out a loud mewling meow, begging for attention, and she's all too quick to oblige. Oh. Well, good morning to you too, Iggy. I was just about to leave for the store. She crosses the kitchen towards you, and then immediately greets you with a soft pet pat. Aww. Just what you were hoping for. Each time you see her, you find yourself further convinced she is easily the most radiant person in existence, full of lightness, patience, and insurmountable levels of generosity. In things you meow once more, but now it is a gentle meow of satisfaction. Wasn't expected to see you up so early. I know we both like to sleep in on these colder days. How are you feeling today? Ah. Deep in thought, you curled your tail around your cold nip toes. Baba has always possessed an uncanny knack for catching you off guard with such deep and profound questions. Reflecting on the state of your emotional being is something you prefer to avoid, but Baba has a way of drawing your true feelings out. You know with certainty there is no wrong answer, but neither is there a correct one. Well, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling peaceful. 
Plans were answering, thinking back how good the morning sun felt raiding through skin. How blankets of snow stretch endlessly into the distance, creating a calm, pure, white abyss. How tree limbs swayed gently, brushing evergreen leaves against the sky. You tilt your nose skyward, squint your eyes, and flex your cheeks into the best soothing Baba smile impression. Ah, I know that feeling well. The world is truly tranquil today, isn't it? How lucky for us that we get to experience it. When I get back, why don't we take a little stroll through the forest and get our old bones moved? We can listen to the bird song, feel the fresh air against our skin back in the sunshine. How does that sound? Bubba scratches under your chin, around your ear, and down your back. Your favorite way to be pet. It's no matter what mood you're in, anytime you're around Bubba, it's impossible to control the purr that bubbles pleasantly from your throat. Oh, ho, ho. aren't you just incorrigible lush today? Well, I prim promise more cuddles for you later. I'd best be off now. Onions are half off, and if I don't get to the store soon, I'll go buy the whole lot again. Don't give me such sad eyes. I promise I'll drive safe, and I'll be back before you know it. Twenty minutes or less. On my honor as a kitchen witch. You're in charge while I'm gone, so try not to let the broom out of the house and, let, and keep those sassy plants in line. Yeah, I think that's all. Love you, Iggy. She gives one more do doting head pat and slips through the kitchen door. It clanks and clatters from dozens of charms and oddities dangling around the doorknob. With a lonely sigh, you pop to the floor. Twenty minutes isn't long, but any time without Bob in the house feels emptier. You'll need to find something to do if you're going to fill that void. Admittedly, you always try to keep an open schedule so you didn't bother creating plans for today. You never know when Baba will need your assistance, after all. But it would be shameful to waste the free time you have now, so... What would you like to do today? Let's... <laughs> Sleep. Seems like the obvious choice for a cat, right? We're going to explore. I was always permitted you to free run the house, even the more magical areas off limits to all other guests. It's been a bit since I've had a proper interior expedition. You eye, you eye the window over to the kitchen sink, crowded with lounging potted plants. Their heavy, bulbous heads look like paint dipped onions. Though they're charmed with their colors to ensure more evenly sunned complexions, they sc scooch their pots with the tracking sun. Today's bright skies not only help greatly with pale petals and personality, but it also makes spying a brass key in a pot far easier. Glint's rosy hued against the dark soil. Ah uh, yes, right where I left you, Baba's cubby key. You have a habit of playing with things Baba has misplaced, was pushing them further. How that key became hostage to the plants was part of yesterday's adventure. But I claim it by today. <laughs> With a tail curling stretch, you prepare for athletic feats. Leap to clear the shortest plant and gracefully land behind it, but. Meow. How does you fall short, smacking into and clambering over the edge? Oh no! And she disgrace the plants, leafly roll in their pots, their petals forming saucy smirks. What are you laughing at? Hiss as you get your leg up, they shrug with their vines before bobbing and soundless snickers. They stiffen in shock as you lunge for one packed pot and triumphantly gulp up the key. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Furious, your punishment didn't end on their terms. They virulently spit nectar at you. Get <laughs> Luckily, you're a cat with depth reflexes. You duck the first line of fire and then leap off the ledge, landing on scaling beyond range from the doorway. Well, you're safe, I think. Skating into the living room, you spit out the key and a mouthful of soil. Yeah, <laughs> detestable, despicable. So very unsuck. So <laughs> I am so bad at words. You spout back vocab from the Baba's radio through the doorway, but the plants are too busy scooting again for the window to have been righteously got. I'll criticize them later, for now. Meow. 
You've not a second thought when you bowled over when you're bowled over by a broom. The bundled bush pays you no mind and sweeps up your dirt from the carpet and the key. No, no, cease, desist. The enchanted broom only heeds the witch who gave it life, continues fervently sweeping a, a string of harried hopped dust bunnies. I must get that cubby key. Your sharp eyes fix on the glint in the broom's tumbling dust. You burst forward just as the train of lenty lapins scatter under the love seat. As the broom rears back for a low sweep, you dive before it and bat it away and bat away the key. Marvelous. Alio, you rolled just shy of the devastating four clearing swipe which sends the those hair hairs headlong. Pick up your prize and venture to the edge of the room. Here. The side of the stairs is a small square frame, as if the bit that bit of patterned wallpaper was uniquely picture picturesque. Goodness, I'm so bad at words. You gently push the key into the its hole and twist just so until you feel that satisfying click through your teeth. The panel creaks open, and you slip through. Many a time, Baba has left the cubby light on, but the room is all inky blackness today, nothing you can't manage. Being over sewing tins, toppling vloshes, and ducking experiment, it's impossible to navigate such a tight space without incidentally re redecorating, but it isn't so tight that you cannot reach the back to find what you're searching for. Shadows have different depths, and in very back of the cubby, where the corner of the sloping ceiling, the walls don't quite meet. The darkness is observably darker. That's just what you want, so you slip through the cracks in that liquid way of most cats. You are now in the space behind the walls. In a modern home built of drywall and brick, a woolly insulation between keeps thin the heat. But the gentle incandescent fluff that glows warmly in the house is not quite the same. Every step, skip, and slip as you climb it makes it tremble like some ticklish soul, and its pulsing inner light shifts in a rhythm of a sense like a sensible laugh. Or so it feels. It's just magic stuffing. It's not possibly alive. There it is. Limited by the underglow is a U-sized doorway. You leap to land in the center, but before you we before you relive the kitchen air, something warm presses belly and glides you on mark. Your landing is perfect. Oh. Absolutely calculated with that. Pushing your tail, you saunter onwards, leaving the soft light behind. Two steps in, a wooden beam clocks your brow. God, curses, where did that come from? Wasn't here last time. Wait a second. It was terribly cramped, forcing you to duck into a private session of checkers between a spore sprite and an itty bitty mouse. The f phosphorescent fungal furniture's light allows the two to skip their cheese morsels around the pattern board. Golly. The mouse exclaims at the sprite as the sprite does a dastardly move across the board. Provolone pieces are seized by the sprite and victoriously chomped. Not a crumb left for me. What are you little pests doing here? Sprite and mouse rightfully turn to your furious face looming above. Sprite slams their hands down on the toadstool table, releasing a smoke screen of spores that leave the animals sneezing. When they open their eyes, the sprite has absconded. We scared them away. It was the best two out of three, and we were tied. It was the best two out of three, and we were tied. How troublesome, if I cared. Different rooms should be here. They don't just shift about so quickly. Usually. Well, I wouldn't know much about that. You don't miss the mysterious sadness that wilts through their whiskers. I'm very new to exploring. I'm trying to make new friends in new places. Oh, well, leave me out of it. Eep. 
You stomp into this narrow space and prowl around. More mouse campers around your paws. I need the exit. The exit through the attic. Oh, if it's an exit you need, I know a much better way. Think you know better than a long-lived and learned cat like me? Stop ringing since you seem pretty lost. Well, naturally, the turns are all, all backwards. Now get me out. Absolutely, hold on. Little thing rustles over to a forgettable inset stone and throws it all their way down it. The floor rumbles. Eh? What? Inertia flattens you as the whole room propels upward into darkness. Once it slows to a halt and your bones feel again their proper height, the walls <laughs> with the secret slate is now a place with open view of. The living room. Up to a lower room. Preposterous. Didn't happen last time, but... Oh, I'm Peep, by the way. What's your name? Peep. Sweet back Peep with a flick of your tail, but the critter clings as you leap onto the carpet. I am Ignatius, and you would be wise to remember my name. But your necklace says Iggy. <laughs> you glower back at the dangling mouse child. It is a collar, not a necklace. Only Baba may call me Iggy. But Iggy is a much cuter name. <laughs> well, I admit you are correct in your assessment. You should refer to me as Ignatius. Understood? Of course, anything you say, Iggy. What was that? Nothing. Put yourself to eye level with the young mouse. Tell me, where are your parents? Aren't you a bit too young for independent exploration? I see. They're gone. Hmm. Peep nods in answer. It's impossible to deny that the very sight of this pitiful being tucks at even the lowest chamber of your heart. You sigh. Very well. To assist me earlier, I suppose I have no choice but to take you under my tail. Go on, climb aboard my head. We will wait in the kitchen. Pushing the young mouse screws up your back with ease, they situate themselves squarely in between your ears. What are we waiting for? Baba, she will know what to do with you. I suggest you hold on. When you found friend, you return to the kitchen. At nearly every step, people have a small gasp of wonder. Find yourself thinking, hoping that they will grow desensitized eventually, but then you find the corner into the kitchen. He loses all manner of sense. I smell so much food. Fruits, breads, and deep little pink nose wiggles and wiggles as they lean forward in search of a stronger scent. And, and cheese. Hey, trying to pull my fur out. So it's still up there. You can answer your complaint with a gentle pat on the head. It almost reminds you of the way Baba pats your head, almost. Sorry. Let's behave while you're here. Bobby is a kitchen witch, so that makes the kitchen her most precious place. Oh yeah, um, here's Baba. Let's get to a hold so pass. Keep nearly tumbles from your head. How long have you been living here? I think I was born 22, no, 24 days ago, I think. So about that long. Still don't know who Baba is? Typical mouse. Baba is my witch. She is kind, compassionate, patient, loving. She gives really wonderful chin scritches. Her nails are always trimmed to the perfect length. Scritches are so wonderful. In fact, you have to fight back a purr just thinking about them. Oh, she's the old human? Yes, she's the old human. He plots down on your head. The grip loosening on your fur. I think she'll do when she sees me. I always say to stay hidden from the humans so they don't shoo us away, or worse. Hmm. Think about Peep's delicate ribs poking through their fur. No, Baba isn't like that. Most likely she will feed you and then... bathe you. Or by shiver scuttles down your spine at the thought of bats. Maybe I could just wash myself. 
doing that? Are you doing that already? Well, I try. No, trust me, that won't be good enough. Bath time is the only time Baba won't take no for an answer. But it's worth it, because it means you get to cuddle with her after. Loosen your grip, and I will jump us up. In one fluid leap, you alight back on your favorite window, still the one with the best sun and the best views. Together, you and Pete peer through the glass panes, waiting for Baba's car to return. Any second now. There, a glint of sun beams over a hill. Next moment, Baba's familiar truck is pulling into the driveway. You up down and prance toward the doorway with peep and toe. Mouse burrows into your fur, hoping to stay out of sight, but you're but you are t too eager to pause and give them another rousing pep talk. Door cracks open immediately. You are beneath Baba's feet, trilling and meowing, meowing and trilling. Oh, you sweet thing. Why well, I missed you too. Just one second while I set these bags down. I was set places seven heaping bags of onions on the table, and you watch with predatory in interest. Few roll from the counter and onto the floor. Even every even small bits of loose paper like skin flutter down. Ooh, there we go. What a haul that was. Should have more than enough to drink onion skin tea you morning, noon, and night for months. Now time for your pets. Reach down to scratch your head, but her hands stop short. Piggy, who what who is on your head? Is that a mouse? You curl her tail around your paws, waiting expectantly for Baba's incoming directives. Peeps grip on your fur tightens, and you can sense the barest of trembles quaking through their body. My poor thing looks absolutely frightened. What to do, what to do? Rhythmically, one of Baba's fingers taps her chin. Well, walks are always better with more people, right? Give me a moment, and I'll knit some mittens for our little friend. Baba reached for Peep, and with a happy squeak, they climb under her hand. Satisfied, you purr. Baba is home safe, your family is grown by one, and all is right in your little corner of the world. The clap. The cat cleaned his feet, the witch changed into a heavy winter coat, the mouse slipped on warm new mitts. Finally, they embarked on their walk. They inhaled cold air, they listened to the crunch of snow underfoot, they yelled at birds, and today, like every day, they had a good day. The end. Um. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. It's so good. I highly recommend it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Please check out this creator. I put the link in the description. Go play this game. Go support this game. Please. It's, it's so good. I, I loved it. I'm pretty sure there's other endings or other things that happen. Um, but that, that was the ending I got. Um, but anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Peace. Hello, guys. Um, so um, here we are again. Um, on this um, day, there are seven days left to get 50% off of stuff on the shop. Um, also, I wanted to show that there is merch for the channel's logo. The new channel's logo um, comes in t-shirts, comes in hoodies, comes in hats. I mean, shit even comes in babies' uh, <laughs> body suits, uh, coffee mugs, aprons, bags. I mean, you name it, it's probably on the store. So I highly recommend you go check it out, and uh, I hope I see you all in the next one. I hope you have a great day.
，拜。